what's up youtube fng moto here and um i was sitting on my couch thinking about what i had to do today and this was not it <laughs> i actually have a honey do list today because it's my day off well uh, today and the rest of the weekend so that's gonna be good anyway i was sitting there about what i needed to do today and it dawned on me that i think it'd be a good idea to get a comparison video of the corbin uh, solo for the bobber versus the stock seat and as you see over here i got my wife's corbin for her scout 60 and her stock seat and i'm also going to see if there's any major differences between the scout regular scout seat and the scout bobber seat um just by the looks of it it doesn't appear to be uh the only thing that i can think that i can say that might be different is the uh, the seat pan area looks to be a bit bigger than on the uh, bobber seat, but we'll dive into that um, a little bit later. Um, but as far as the uh, bobber seats, um, this is the, obviously you guys know this, this is the bobber stock seat and this is the Corbin seat. Um, my main objective was to try to get as close to this color scheme as possible. As you can tell, they're not very close. Um, but for me, it was close enough. Um, this is a bit redder, in my opinion, than uh, the Corbin one. Um, but I do like the way the Corbin came out. I do love the way it looks on the bike. I'm actually thinking about uh, debadging uh, my bobber and getting a war bonnet painted on in this color brown because I think it matches with that black, just ridiculous. Um, matte chocolate brown to go with the matte black paint. But we'll see. Anyway... Um, so major differences, as you can see the seating area and the, I'm going to call it the butt cup, very substantial on the Corbin. <clears throat> this, this does, in my opinion, help you, uh, help prevent you from when you crack that throttle from sliding off the back here. Now that was one of the complaints of the bobber seat, but <laughs> I'm not going to lie. I didn't mind that too much. That gave me a little bit of a rush, you know, a little bit of, I call it a boho pucker. Uh, and uh, I, I kind of like that. Um, this seat took that away, uh, so maybe that's a negative for this seat and a positive for this seat. Um, aesthetically, it you know aesthetics are a personal preference, so I'm not going to say you're right or wrong for what you think or believe or choose, but uh, I think it's a tie, and here's why I say this. Uh, yes, the stock bobber seat just looks great on that bike because it was obviously made specifically for that bike. Um, this Corbin is made for the popper. Um, but with the style or the, um, well, we'll just go with the style of the bobber is to have it stripped down as minimal as possible. And that, <laughs> that's what this seat is. It is stripped down and as minimal as possible. Um, the Corbin, on the other hand, is more like a um, Cadillac seat. This is more of a, jeez, I don't know, Pinto seat, if you would. Uh, sorry, Indian. But, of course, this is my opinion. So, aesthetically, um, I do think both of them look great. I really do. Um, I don't think you're going to go wrong with either one of them. Um, what color brown do I like better? I do wish Corbin was able to match this because this is just a killer, killer color. I don't know what brown it is, but it's not something that um, you were readily available to find. Um, but they're not too far off. Like I said, this is a little redder, but other than that, that's really it. You know, um, they, they, it's close. It's really close. Um, comfort, uh, it's not even close. Corbin wins it hands down. Um, I don't know who decided that this seat designed this way, even if that's even the problem. Maybe it's just a lack of filling or padding or whatever. Uh, maybe it's the angle. I don't know. I'm not an engineer. Uh, thought it was a good idea. Obviously, they didn't ride their bike for more than 30 minutes. Because if they did, they'd realize this seat is sucks um, after 30 minutes. 
when I first got the bike and I rode it around, I didn't ride past 30 minutes because I was still learning my way on my bike. I was still learning my way around the roads because I'm still a relatively new rider. Um, and uh, I remember telling my wife as we're riding <laughs> over train tracks, you know, this seat isn't that bad. I don't think I'll need a new seat. Well, that was before we drove out to Murrow's Inlet to get our bike service, which is a two-hour ride from my house. And uh, 35 minutes, I want to say, into that, if that, I was like, oh, my God, this is incredibly uncomfortable. Now, just to add to the uncomfortableness of this seat, if... The United States military, the CIA, whoever is in charge of these so quote unquote uh, enhanced interrogation techniques, you want to get some information out of somebody, put them on a Scott Bobber with the stock with the stock seat and make them ride that bike for 20 to 30 minutes. They will get off and beg you, <laughs> beg you to never do it again and will give you the information that you would want. That's an exaggeration, but anyway. So let's get into the size of the seat. Now the Corbin seat from widest point to widest point is, I believe, um, we'll say boom, 12 inches. So you got a much, you got a wider seat, 12 inches. I think the Scott Bobber is only 10. Uh, we'll go. Eh, we're not scientific here. We're not going to be too scientific. We'll 10 and a quarter. So. You got about an inch and three quarters of extra seating space on the Corbin, which allows you to, you know, more room side to side. Um, the height, let's do the height. So again, this isn't real scientific. I'm gonna say we're gonna go, what you think? What do you think, YouTube? Eight and a half? We'll go eight and a half. So it's eight and a half inches tall. This is seven and a half inches tall. So the Corbin has it by an inch on height as well, which in my opinion, man, it, it, that really does make a difference. Um, and keeping you planted in the pocket, the butt pocket. Um, the seat is incredibly heavy. This seat is, there's really nothing to it. It's really light. But this seat does have some girth to it. It's got some weight to it. Um, as far as, I don't even know what you would call this portion of the seat. Um, but for it to butt up against the tank, we'll, I don't know, may I call it the flat spot, I guess. I don't know what you want to call it. Again, I'm, <laughs> I'm pretty new to all this. So we'll say this is six and a half inches. Maybe a little bit more. Now we'll go six and a half. Make it easy. This is, we'll go three and a quarter. So as you can tell, I mean, just by looking at it, we don't need all these the, the tape measure to tell us this, but you, you got much more surface area for you to work with on the Corbin seat. Um, now, I'm going to say this outright. I am in no way paid by Corbin or anybody to say what I'm saying here. This is just my opinion on the seat. And this is just a comparison video that, you know, just dawned on me to do that I thought might be helpful to some. Um, so other than that, I really, don't, I really don't think of anything else. I guess we can just wrap up the Corbin bobber stock seat and move on to the Corbin Scout stock seat. And here we are. Corbin, obviously. Stock seat, obviously. Um, these two are much closer together than the uh, Corbin and the Bobber seat. Uh, what I mean closer together is they, they're, they're shaped more similarly to each other, each other, excuse me, than the other two are. But as you can see here, I think these are about as close in width, they appear to be anyway, but so let's take a measurement. So once again, we have what we have here. So we'll go, yep, 12 and a half, all right? We'll call it 12 and a half wide. 
What's the Indian stock? 12 and a quarter ish. We'll go 12 and a quarter. So not much separating the two as far as width goes. Um, height. Indian has, I love these even like spot on, like straight numbers. Hopefully the tape measure is coming out. <laughs> so nine and a half, we'll call it nine and a half. Can't believe I just thought of that. Corbin. Wow. It's surprising. No, well, maybe it's just an angle. About the same, height wise, nine and a half. So, like I said, these two are a lot closer in uh, shape than the other two were. Um, now, my wife's seat is the gunmetal gray with the white welt and white contrast stitching. You're not going to really tell gunmetal gray under this lighting. We have, uh, I'm in my dining room right now doing this. And it has the, in our dining room, we have dinner. We call dinner lighting. I don't know, I didn't know there was such a thing, but it's a warm yellow. Um, you can see the seat pocket here. This looks to be a bit deeper, but it's a sh harsher angle. It's almost like a freaking 90 degree angle. So I can see where some you know pressure point can develop here. This is a bit more of a nice ergonomically you know rounded pocket if you would this is just kind of like slap up sla you know slap back slap up um, so it looks like this is designed a bit better the Corbin is um, my wife said the seat isn't uncomfortable um, but after about an hour or so uh, she she <laughs> it, it, it does start to bother her which is a lot better than that one um, so uh, what else do you want to measure on measure the I'm assuming it's going to be the same as my Corbin. So we'll go what? Dun, dun, dun. I mean, I, I it, it's kind of difficult to, we'll just maybe do it down here. So there we go. We'll go six and a half. So it's six and a half long. And Again, folks, not real scientific here. I am not very scientific. And strangely enough, the Indian seat seems to be longer. That's weird. It's like nine and a half. Wow. Can that be right? Huh. Well, we shall see what it looks like because this doesn't butt up against the tank at all on the the bike, the stock seat, but I'm hoping that this doesn't leave an even bigger gap because I didn't like the way that gap looked on the bike um, between the seat and the tank. So that's strange. Well, it is deeper though, the Corbin. I mean, what I mean deeper is the back of the seat is deeper. So maybe I just, you know, picked a bad spot to take a, to take a measurement. You can see, look at the back of this thing, man, that's a lot deeper than this one. A lot more substantial obviously and a lot heavier like the other two so all right let me toss the stock uh scout 60 seat and bring in the corbin the corbin comparison so we got the two corbin side by side bobber uh scout 60. um they look almost you know identical to each other with obviously the, the, the aside from the obvious differences um from my vantage point, I don't know if you'll be able to capture this, capture this on video. This seat looks much higher than the bobber seat. So I'm interested in that. So let's take the measurement tool and see if my observations are accurate. So we'll go nine and a half. For the 60 seat and then we'll go oh yeah inch taller 
eight and a half for the bobber, so that's an inch taller. All right, that's not to be un that's not unexpected, I guess, or um, a shock. Um, the butt pocket looks to be a bit deeper on the bobber seat. I don't know if that's going to come through. That's just optics, maybe. Uh, it could just be me. Um, I'm tearing up my freaking <laughs> tablecloth. Oh, it's going to kill me. Um, it looks to be a bit deeper. I don't know. Maybe it's just me. What do you guys think? They look about the same. Yeah, I guess it is the same. I guess it is the same. Um, let's see how long this seat is. So we still got the installation stuff here for the seat that came in yesterday. Oh, and I wanted to say, taking the seat off came right off, man. No problems. I thought that it was going to be as difficult getting it off as it was to put it on, but I was wrong. It just popped right off. Turned the key, pulled up, and it was off. It was just as easy as taking the stock seat off. Um, so, anyway. Uh, lengths. Lengths, lengths, lengths. Maybe I should have done this the first time. Done it this way instead, but... So we got... We'll call it 12 and a quarter. And then we'll call this, we'll see what we're gonna call it. Uh, about the same. Not major difference, 12 and a quarter. Um, this little flat here, I don't know what I say it was, a little of a six or about six inches or so. I don't know if that's really that important, but you know, I think it'll be interesting nonetheless. Um, I mean, like I said, it's kind of hard to measure this particular portion, but we'll give it a shot. We'll maybe do it right here. What do you say? We'll go five and three quarters. This is just kind of eyeballing it maybe. Or I can just start it at this seam right here. Well, yeah, give me a starting point, reference point. So we'll go five inches. All right, and then same same spot, but it's probably in a it's probably not in the same spot. But you get my drift. And this is telling me we got six. So um, it is a little bit bigger. The Scott 60 seat's a little bit bigger. It's a little bit bigger bike, I guess. I don't know if, um, uh, as far as, you know, fender or we have, I don't know. It's not a bigger bike. That's just bigger fenders. Anyway. So there it is. Uh, these are both killer seats. My wife is incredibly excited. We're going to do an install video when she gets home from work. We'll put it on the bike. Well, we're going to eat dinner first. Chinese food. Get it on the bike. And uh, she's going to do her own wrenching and get it on it herself. And I'm really excited for her. Because we plan on putting in some serious miles over the summer. Our son is leaving for the summer. He's going to go spend time with his grandparents the entire summer. So it belongs to us. And we just have to find uh, care for our dogs while we go out and hit the highways. Or back roads. I'm not riding on the highways. Anyway. I appreciate you guys watching. Thank you so very much. Um, if you liked the video, hit the like button. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. And make sure if when you do subscribe, you click the bell icon so you get notified of when I decide to upload some more videos. Um, again, this is FNG Moto. We appreciate you all. Thank you. And have a good day. I'm out. Keep the shiny side up.